In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about offer curves and how offer curves are created. An offer curve looks something like this, and what it does is it measures quantities of exports and imports at all relative prices. And by relative prices, I mean the price ratio of an X and Y, price right there like that. And an offer curve shows different levels of trade at different price ratios. That's what I'm going to tell you about how it gets built so you begin to understand this concept. Let me review a little bit. And I've talked about gains from trade in another video, and I don't want to deal with it too much here, but I just want to review quickly. A country will produce at that level, the red level, and it will consume at that level, the gray level. The level of production is measured from the origin to X2, the level of production of X is that level. And the level of consumption is the gray line which is from the origin to X1. Exports is the difference between X2 and X1 because the country produces more than it consumes, it can export. Now, it produces, the country produces at a level Y2, and that level there, from the origin to Y2, that's its level of production. And a country will consume at zero to Y1, level of consumption is there, the gray line. Now notice that consumption is greater than production, so the country has to import the difference. The level of imports is there for a country, and the level of export is measured by that distance right there, the two levels. Let me shade in the triangle. I'll make it blue. Now I imagine that the price of X even goes up and the price of Y remains constant. The slope of this line becomes steeper. Now the country's uh, production level shifts down and its consumption level is on a new indifference curve. So it produces at that level, the red, and it consumes at the gray level there. So both production and consumption have increased. The level of consumption is Y1 right there. And the level of production of Y is right there. Again, consumption is greater than production. So therefore, the country has to import to make up the difference. And like before, the imports is the height of the triangle I'm going to build. Now the country will produce the distance between 0 and x2, or that level right there. Again, it's just that line, the length of that line. The country will consume at a level of the gray line, or from the origin to x1. Consumption will be there. And since now the country produces more than consumes, it has exports. And the export level is right there, the difference between x2 and x1. Now let me fade everything out. And now I'll draw that triangle. We'll make that a purple triangle. Again, the price of x goes up, and the price of y remains constant in this example. And the line again rotates, and it becomes steeper. It can reach a higher level of difference. The country can. It will consume at that level, the gray level, consume X1 and Y1. It will produce at this level a production of X2 and Y2. The level of exports is the base of the triangle, right there, X2 minus X1. And the height of the triangle measures the imports, Y1 minus Y2. I want to make this triangle green. And be, before I build the offer curve, I want to point out a couple things. That these three lines the, are different levels of prices. PX, PY1, PX, PY2, and PX, the price of X and the price of Y3. So it's three different levels of prices. Three different ratios of prices. I just want to, I just want to point out the slopes of these three uh, lines and that the price X over price of Y3 has the greatest slope of all. It's the steepest one of the three. And I just wanted to point that out real quick. Now I have these three triangles, and I'm going to use this as a, the basis to build my offer curve because the base of the triangles measure exports and the height are the imports. So I can use these three triangles to build my offer curve. Now if I take that blue triangle and move it down and rotate it, if it will do that for me, there it is. And I draw on the slope of my first price level, which is the price of X and the price of Y, 1. 
right there that, that purple dot is that's my trade level that's my exports and my imports at that specific price ratio of these two goods price of x and price of y and that one relates to the prices of the first ratio now i'm going to do the same thing with a purple triangle and again that purple dot right there represents a trade level of those price ratios price of x versus price of two i do the same thing with the green one and now i have three trade levels right there it's a little easier to see if I fade out the triangles now. And now I'm going to try to draw in a the offer curve, which is connecting all these dots. And the offer curve kind of slopes backwards like that. And this is what we call the offer curve. Again, it measures different levels of trade depending on the price ratios of two products.